Hitman, the latest entry into the series by IO Interactive, has launched and is wrought with issues. Who'd have guessed an always online, episodically released game would have issues? Before addressing where this iteration of the culminative serial killer experience from my childhood goes wrong, I'll address what it does right. Hitman was always preoccupied with how. The central design aspect to these semi-sandbox games. You, Agent 47, are given a target. The execution is your choosing. The original titles in the series focus on player agency. Do you have the key card to the back gate, or will your lockpick suffice? In subsequent titles, the means of death expanded to allow everything from head trauma from blunt objects to supposed suicides thanks to precarious ledges. The interplay of gameplay elements, locations, and targets resulted in a sandbox experience which encouraged player agency and experimentation. The latest installment, Hitman, perfectly realizes these gameplay aspects and interplay of elements from previous titles, attempting to expand, solidify, and actualize in a shiny new form. As of the time of writing, the episode title has released the beta training levels and the Paris mission. The beta and full releases tutorial levels are akin to earlier titles in size, an opportunity for player choice. The first on a yacht with a bustling party and a target, who can be shot, garroted, stabbed, poisoned, or numerous other means of assassination. Likewise with the second training level, though with a noticeably larger amount of activatable situations. Talk to the target with designated costume and object after using a crowbar to ensure an accident and the target's death will play out before your eyes in an extravagant manner. It's in this final mission, Paris, where the scope and potential of the title becomes apparent. Located in a grand and detailed hall, the fashion show floor and dining halls sprawling the labyrinth. The size and the variety of the level is put to use, Hitman applying the design elements which allow for a larger player choice. Over the course of my experimentation, I killed the two targets in a variety of ways I needn't spoil. The game guides you towards the objective in a simple and intuitive manner. There have been complaints that this system holds your hand, but I would argue ease of use coupled with expansive maps and gameplay design result in a freeform experience. Sadly, this is all overshadowed by the reliably horrible coupling of an episodic release schedule and an always online single player game. In its current state, Hitman will kick you from your game multiple times a night. This ruins the preparation and anticipation towards your current plan. Often these elaborate assassinations require elaborate and timely preparation. This does not work when you get kicked from your game and cannot save as an online and offline profiles are separated. This is likely due to the game's elaborate leadership system. Hopefully the response will change the course of this episodic title as the core game will delight old fans and newcomers alike.